Open up. It's time for parkour. Okay, time for mandatory parkour again. All right, you know the deal. You can- Stop. Huh? There's a new parkour champion. He's calling a meeting with all the pros and masters. We need to go now. What? A champion? After Evbo became the new parkour champion, there are many changes to parkour society. The first thing the parkour champion did was call a meeting with every pro and master. Together, they abolished parkour prison and set all the prisoners free. They replaced it with a new town called New Leaf Village and an enormous plain of dirt that stretched far into the horizon. After that, he created a new pair of boots called the Slime Boots, meaning even if you fall from the noob level, you won't die from fall damage. See? Look, a parkour pro just missed a jump from above. Oh, okay, he should not have been wearing his iron boots. It is still possible to rank up in parkour society. Evbo demolished the main temple and replaced it with an enormous tower to reach the higher sections. Now, any noob can rank up if they just keep trying. But even as a parkour noob, life is so much better. If we want food, we can either get bread from New Leaf Village, or every day the parkour champion sends down a parkour pro to give us food that we need to practice parkour for. This is how they make money. You can get the cooked chicken for this one block jump, or the cooked beef for the one block vertical jump. Ooh! But it's okay, all that matters is that you tried. Here, take some bread, and go practice some more. On top of that, there are new shops, where even parkour noobs get to build their own parkour courses to purchase things. Even a one block jump can get me a house! A two block fence jump for a mansion? Let's go! Welcome to your new house. Here we have a parkour course that leads up to your bed. In a chest there's some blocks where you can build your own course, or use a ladder if you don't want to parkour. Sweet! Noobs can now build onto their houses however they like. I built my house with two doors. My house is do a parkour around it. Now that parkour isn't mandatory, it gives me so much more motivation to rank up. And I got the biggest house in my town. With the lack of noobs falling into the void, or even worse, dying in parkour prison, the towns have expanded more and more over time, and sooner or later, there will be entire cities here in parkour civilization. In the center of New Leaf Village, there's a large parkour training area that anybody can access after they complete daily tasks. But the best part was that noobs and pros alike are not forced to complete tasks anymore. We choose to, because we all strive to be better and rank up. New Leafs are in charge of farming, while parkour noobs are in charge of buying and selling merchandise like houses and building parkour courses. I'm not really sure what the pros and masters are up to yet, but I'm sure they have something to give to society. Surprisingly, parkour battles do still happen, and this can cause many problems in parkour society. For example, my neighbor was challenged to a parkour battle when he got into a disagreement with someone. I like to see you do this three block jump. Ha! Easy! Oh! After this, Ebbo created a new rank, the Parkour Captains. These people have chainmail boots and serve as the guards of parkour society. They try to keep everyone safe and stop any parkour battles that might be fatal. On top of that, on the noob level, a new parkour arena was built, and this is where any parkour battle can happen and be supervised by the captains. So now, you can have a parkour battle and solve your problems, but you don't have to worry about losing any hearts. One of my biggest fears, now that I'm actually trying to rank up, is accidentally getting into a parkour battle with a pro, or even worse, a master. This is very unlikely with the new champion, but it isn't impossible. Hey man, here for some food. Sure thing, you know the rules. Hey, I've been practicing the parkour champion's signature move. Check this out. Ah, uh, still not able to do a full 360. Whoa, whoa. You, you didn't have to pay that much. Here, take this. But you even do that? Oh, oh, oh wait, no, he, he's fine, he's fine. Now, I'm going to visit my friend on the New Leaf level. They've been my best friend ever since I got to Parkour Civilization, and we saved each other from entering Parkour Prison many times. We pretty much spent all our time together. Hey, ready for our daily task? Even though I'm still a noob, one day, I'll make the rank of Parkour Pro, because I'll never give up. And that's the reality of Evbo's new Parkour Civilization. Sir, we are ready. Good. Begin the invasion. Evbo's Parkour Society will not last forever. Send a patrol to New Leaf Village, and keep the captains distracted. Soon, all noobs will be back where they belong, in Parkour Prison. What about you, sir? I have a meeting to attend. Your boots, my lord. See? Like this. <laughs> How are you so bad? That is enough. You face the Parkour Rebels. Parkour Rebels? That's a stupid name. Turn around and fight. I challenge you to a parkour battle. How did I know this was going to happen? 
To my surprise, my friend stood in the way of us. She challenged him to a parkour battle instead, nullifying his challenge to me. I watched as she collected her blocks from the chest, and so did this parkour rebel? Who even were these shadow guys? And why were they down here challenging New Leafs to battles? And where were the captains? My friend was given the first move, and she was able to complete a two-block vertical jump for the first time. <laughs> Is that seriously all you got? The parkour rebel completed the jump perfectly, which means now he gets the chance to attack. He attacked her with a 4 block by 3 block diagonal jump. With her rank, there's no way she can do that. She set it up and missed the jump. This is way too easy. I have to do something, right? But there's nothing I can do. I can't just interrupt a parkour battle. I'm not a parkour captain. And I could never build a harder jump than a four block by three block diagonal one. So I just continued to watch as my friend missed another parkour jump, bringing her down to just two hearts. If she missed one more jump, it was all over. Then it happened. The rebel did a four block jump like it was nothing. I didn't even know that was possible. And then she was gone. I now challenge you to a parkour battle. Oh gosh, okay, well now I'm going to die. Well, at least I'll be with my friend in the afterlife. Wait, is there an afterlife in parkour society? Okay, for my first attack, I'll set up a three block diagonal jump. And all I gotta do is... It was incredible for my rank, but there was no way I'd be able to counter anything from him. The parkour rebel made a two block vertical jump into a two block backwards jump. There was no way I could do that jump. I tried and failed. Somehow, I managed to complete the next attack, a three block vertical jump. The parkour god must be looking out for me. It's my turn to attack, and I have almost no options left. Perhaps I could use it and attack on myself. Is it worth it? I've practiced brewing stand jumps before. To apply potion effects to myself? Is that even possible? I could try, but then, just as all hope was lost, he arrived. The parkour champion saved me. Oh, shoot! That's the champion! I'm out of here! You win our battle! Ah!